I think that the Disney one might be the most interesting. I mean, the Twilio move obviously is huge, but the Disney one is the most interesting to me. It's, I sort of am, I mean, great numbers, right? So the subscriber beat, that was very good. And it was interesting to me to look at um, Viacom and Netflix, which are both up. Disney, they had been down on the heels of the Netflix miss. Um, so Netflix was saying there's competition. It's interesting now that, you know, Disney seems to be, I don't know if it's gaining share or the pie's growing or what, but, you know, in an up market, the other two are up on that too. That makes sense to me, actually. So um, I think that's interesting. And then the reopen part, I, I think that's an interesting um, I think we're going to see a lot of that. I definitely want to have exposure and do have exposure to reopening because I think it was stalled and I think it's going to come back with a vengeance. Karen, I, I wanted to ask you and Sarah about your meta trade. So, so you picked up more when and, and, and what, what do you I think? Did, why I, do you think meta has been acting so poorly even after that big plunge on earnings? Uh -huh. Yeah, that was, I mean, the magnitude of the plunge was interesting to me. Obviously, you know, the earnings were a huge disappointment. Not, not the earnings so much. It was obviously the guidance. That was a huge disappointment. So I don't know why. Uh, it, it was down way more than I thought it would be. I bought some stock yesterday. I don't know if you remember, there were stories about, oh, they're leaving Europe. And, and, and then the company came out and said, no, we, we definitely do not intend to leave Europe. There's still some question what's going to happen there. And that created kind of a fear in the stock. And I thought, all right, that's, it's time to step up here. And I had looked at a bunch of option trades, couldn't find anything, and thought, you know what, the risk reward in the stock is very compelling. And trying to think about forgetting, you know, having lost money last week in it, thinking about if I own none, would I buy it right here? And the answer was absolutely, right? I, I didn't think you would be able to buy uh, meta platforms at this price, at this P.E. ratio. And I know people are like, you know, they've missed it, TikTok, they can't catch up, and, you know, the Apple privacy issues. And, you know, it was only a quarter ago that we thought Snap and Pinterest would never be able to figure out the Apple privacy issues, and they seem to have. And I think that there's a reasonable shot that uh, Zuckerberg and team can figure it out again. And so I think at this price, you're really, you're paid to kind of wait. And it might be a wait for a little while. That's okay. I can be patient. And you are. Um, Zillow reporting earnings tomorrow <laughs> after the bell. That's one that you are in. It's, it's I buying unit closed down. So what are you looking for at this point? Right. So they closed it down. They said they would take off, take a bunch of charges. I think those charges, they will continue this quarter, but I think they're going to be way lower than the company had laid out. I think that they are uh, also in the middle of changing their model somewhat. So they're premier agents, their very best agents. They have a new flex program where the agents actually will share some of the commissions with Zillow instead of paying for the service. So it's in a little bit of a transition, but I love that they got rid of iBuying. I love that this is now a much more asset light model, and they want to be the place to go and, and give you also mortgages and titles and things like that, all those kind of services. I don't think it's expensive. I think that the balance sheet is even better than it appears because the debt goes with the houses that they're going to be selling. And so they, they announced one buyback already. I wouldn't be surprised if they're more aggressive with the capital allocation. So I'm optimistic on this one. It's down for the year, but I, I like it. I like how they're positioned in the short term, probably trades with combination of housing and um, somewhat internet related stocks because uh, they are a media company in that regard or internet rather in that regard so i like it though i think this is a i, I like that it's in a point of uh inflection mm -hmm. and um we'll see